Today, I want to share a truly shocking number about the cost of poor air and the impact of air quality on our health and on our lives. And so what you're looking at on this chart, on the x-axis, we have the number of deaths or premature deaths every year globally from different sources. And then on the y-axis, we have these different sources. And I should preface this by saying that estimates do vary, but I've provided uh, sources in, in the comments below. So terrorism comes in at around 25,000 per year globally. War at around 50,000. And these numbers do vary, uh, can vary quite a lot year by year. So these are longer term averages. Drug use disorder. So when we think about the opioid epidemic, you can see where that falls. Homicides globally at almost half a million. So these numbers are, re are really starting to add up here. Malaria, which for many years, uh, well, it still is, and has historically been a, a huge killer globally. HIV AIDS. Now we've made a lot of progress. This number is, is under 1 million. We've made a lot of progress over the years, and a lot of these numbers have, have come down quite a lot. Diabetes, which is of course, a major issue globally is at around one and a half million. Now, where does air pollution fall on this scale? Yes, it is more than these, but it is so much more that it doesn't even fit on this chart anymore. So I've had to rescale the chart. And you'll see that this number comes in at around 7 million per year, 7 million premature deaths directly attributable to air pollution. That is crazy. This number is just immense. In fact, it's larger than all of the other ones that I mentioned combined. It's more than twice the other ones combined. So this is a really crazy number that I had a really hard time wrapping my head around. What does this actually mean? What is 7 million? And so I looked at some other data points and 7 million people per year is approximately the same number of combatants that were killed every year during the Second World War. That is nuts. We are basically living in the Second World War right now. The same number of people are being impacted by this, and we're doing nothing about it. You can, compared to what we were doing during the Second World War, I mean, this was total mobilization. Every single person was doing something to contribute to ending this suffering, right? Regardless of what industry you were in, the, the whole country's focus for just about everywhere was saying, how do we end this? And we're basically living through a, a similar scenario. And there is air pollution is not really being talked about. And to, to me, this is this is completely crazy. And uh, I think we need to all wake up and really do something about this. And by the way, when we're talking about air pollution, this isn't just referring to air pollution that is coming from outside or is a problem somewhere far off on the other side of the planet that has nothing to do with me. Uh, these numbers are a combination of indoor air pollution as well as outdoor air pollution. And uh, it's not quite 50-50, but uh, indoor air pollution is a major contributor. So uh, again, this is not just a, a problem of outdoor, far away, next to a factory. Uh, there's a very, very small percentage of the entire human population that lives in an area that is considered compliant with the WHO's guidelines for air quality. So this is something that I believe we all need to be thinking about. And if you agree, share this video with somebody else that you think will be, will be shocked by these numbers.